going on guys? It's Tyler here. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you how to hook up this uh, new power supply that I got. I got this off of Amazon um, and I'll be using it to hook up to these LED strip of lights that I got. These are all individually addressable RGB LEDs. There's 144 of them on this strip. Um, so that required the use of an external uh, power supply because I'll be running these off of my Arduino um, and I'll be hooking them up to these two up to the power supply and then uh, I'll show you later on in another video how to hook up these LED strips. So here's the power supply. I'll, I'll link this in the description um, of the power supply that I got. Um, this is the way it comes. It doesn't come with any wires and what I had to do is I had to purchase uh, another uh, cable. This is just a basic computer cable uh, to plug into 110 and then uh, it'd be a, your computer power supply on the other side. But uh, in this case, we're just gonna be cutting it off to whatever length we wanna use it at. Um, I got a deal for, I think this is either 15 or 20 feet for like eight, eight bucks. Um, so we'll be using that to hook up to our power supply. These come separately. Just talking a little bit first about the uh, power requirements for this LED strip. Uh, I'll go into more depth when we, when I do the video on that, but I first want to talk about why I needed the external power supply. Um, and that's just because having 144 LEDs on that, uh, that one meter strip there is going to be more than the Arduino can handle. So this is the, this is the reason why we need this power supply. So this power supply is a five volt, which is what those uh, LED strips can take. Um, at least the one that I've got there. Um, I'll link it in the description as well, but um, in this case, I got a five volt power supply and it's got up to a 10 amp, 10 amp draw. Um, and I read on a few different websites um, that each, each LED in there can draw up, uh, each color, red, green, and blue, can draw up to 20 milliamps, um, but the use is only when all LEDs are at full brightness of white. Um, so on Adafruit's website, they recommended uh, kind of their general rule of thumb was 20 milliamps um, was sufficient in your calculations. So you do 20 milliamps times however many LEDs you have and that'll give you your, your current draw that you, you kind of need to require for your, your power supply. All right, so getting into it, um, besides these two items that I showed you, you'll, you'll need your basic Phillips head screwdriver, and then uh, we got this to cut our wires. Uh, we'll be cutting the, the end of this off, and then to strip some of the wires, and you also need a basic multimeter, and so that way we can test at the end to see what our voltage output is. All right, so getting started, um, I'm gonna use the full length of this for now because uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it when I'm done, but it's better to have more length uh, now when I need it, or when I might need it. So we'll cut this off. I'll leave a little bit of room here, so I've, I've got wires on this end in case I ever want to use that. And then we'll strip this back. Alright, so once we've stripped that shielding off, um, and then individually taken about a few millimeters off the end of each wire, and we can go ahead and start to hook it up to the power supply. Um, I just want to go over a quick schematic here and show you which is which before we move on. Um, here's just a quick drawing showing uh, what your standard 110 volt outlet's gonna look like and which goes to which, um, at least in your wall socket. On the right side here, the smaller, the smaller side is uh, your live wire and that's typically your black wire. And then the largest slot on the left side is typically your neutral wire. And then the bottom would be your, your ground and that would uh, usually be green. So I'll just, you can pause that there and, and look at that. Um, so when you go to hook up yours, um, you don't get things wrong. So on the power supply, you can see here on the far left side, that's uh, L for live. And then, so that would be your black wire. And then N would be your neutral, and that would be white. And then this is your ground symbol, so that would, in this case, be green. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and hook these up, and then I'll show you when I'm done. All right, 
We got them all hooked up. We'll give it a good tug test. It looks like we're good to go. Um, now we can, I guess, plug this into the wall and see if we see if there's any uh, smoke that uh, comes out of here, and we'll see how well we did. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in the wall. We'll see what happens. Well, there's no smoke coming out, so that's good. Um, just as a caution, make sure you're not touching these wires now that it's been plugged in. Um, you can see that we've got our green light down here now, so everything's good to go. Um, now, now we can go ahead and check our output voltage. So we'll set up our multimeter and measure between uh, one of the positive and one of the negative voltage ports to see what our output is. And then uh, if we have to, uh, we can adjust with that small potentiometer there on the right side with a screwdriver. And then we can either adjust our voltage up and down. All right, as you can see here, I've hooked up my uh, small multimeter. Um, what I actually did was, here, you can see that there, is I, uh, I unscrewed those screws and then I plugged in the, uh, both of my leads to my multimeter and screwed them down so I don't even have to touch it. And then uh, we'll see what our multimeter gets. So here, we're getting a voltage of about, of about 5.49 volts. Um, we're aiming to be directly on five, so you can see here, um, I'll adjust my potentiometer and we'll try and hit five. So as I'm screwing down, I don't know if you can see on the right side there, I'm screwing down. And as I'm screwing it uh, counterclockwise, we're going down in voltage. We're aiming for five. See if we can hit five on the nose. And it looks like that's as far as our potentiometer is going, so 5.03 volts, and now we're ready to hook it up to our LEDs. All right, so and at this point, our power supply would be ready to hook up our LEDs, but I'll, I'll be making a separate video for that. Um, we've got two places that we can uh, theoret theoretically uh, supply five volts because we have two positive ports and two negative ports. So um, in this case, if I had another LED strip, I could wire each one to each port, um, but you don't necessarily have to. So in this case, my LED strip, the red would be the positive, and then the white in this case would be the negative um, to, to put each lead here. So I hope this, uh, this helps you if you're looking to hook up a power supply that you bought off of Amazon. Um, you basically just need a computer cable and then uh, one of these power supplies and it's fairly straightforward. Um, so hopefully this helps and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos.